most of you already know me for my videos against feminism. But every now and then I come across a few videos that really irk me and I can't help but make a video about it. One of which is a guy named Theodore Schubert. Most of you who spend too much time focusing on feminism most likely do not know who he is. So basically I came across this guy on YouTube and he had a lot of homophobic things to say. I can't find his original channel but I have subscribed to a channel which every now and then shows a video from Theodore Schubert. And the things he says makes me want to puke. I will be responding to two of his videos and trust me when I say this, you're going to hate him with a flaming passion of a thousand suns. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. I'm sick and tired of the homo tyranny. Homosexual tyranny? Um, what, are you being forced to have sex with a gay man now? What we need in this country, what we need in the Western, what we need in the world. Forget America, forget the West. Forget all these nationalistic uh, uh, prejudices and all this national pride bullcrap. What, what the world needs is a collective law. Ooh, I can't wait for this collective law. A collective law, not by some crazy guy in a library with a big mustache. Not some crazy professor in, in, a, in a university somewhere who thinks he's God. We, we don't want those men who have a higher education than most people. No, no, no. We got God on our side. Yeah, motherfucker. What we need is the, the law of God, the virtues of heaven to become the law of the world. You are telling me that you want a law that forces people to support a God that may or may not exist. And you want this to be placed for the entire world so that way it can be illegal to be gay in the world and punishable by death and turning the entire world into one big hive mind so everyone will be forced to think the same. Holy shit, I thought the feminists were bad, but you sir make Chanty Binks look like a rational human being. That is the bottom line. Do I believe in Christian world domination? Absolutely. That's right, he actually does believe in that. You can watch the original video in the link in the description. Go right ahead. I would be a liar if I said I didn't. Do I believe in Christian supremacy? Absolutely. Do I believe in democracy? Hell no. Yeah, fuck the system that allow us to vote. Do I believe in some sort of a democratic socialist republic? Hell no, I believe in monarchy, I believe in inquisitions, I believe we need to revive the system of the Middle Ages that we had, we had no fag problems, we didn't have a lot of serial killers back in those days. God, I do miss those days where women weren't allowed to be smarter than a man, and if she was, she must be a witch because only witches are smarter than men. Get your bitch force and torches, men! We're going to burn a witch! We didn't have freaking drug cartel problems. We also didn't have microphones and webcams that allow us to make YouTube videos. I mean, what the fuck, dude? We had none of that crap. We didn't have no fags asking to be married. None of that garbage. That's most likely the reason why you're even making up this idea. You hate gays so much that you're willing to force everyone into praying to God just for you to satisfy your own ego. It's homo tyranny. It needs to be destroyed. Christian world domination needs to be established and uh, homosexuality needs to be uh, deemed as a crime. So you're swapping in one tyranny for another. Huh. And you're supposed to be better than these people, right? And uh, the homos need to be told, hey, you gotta stop that. If they don't stop that, then I'm sorry. Uh, we have an inquisition, and that inquisition will uh, enact the death penalty, as the scripture tells us. Adolf Hitler would be so fucking proud of you. Carly Fiorina is no conservative. This woman is a wretch. This woman is a feminist. I don't believe in women in politics. I don't give a damn how righteous they sound. Well, I'm an anti-feminist too, but there's a difference between you and I. I believe it doesn't matter who this person is. If the person's doing a good job, then I say, yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I like his plan. I don't care if this person is a one-eyed, crippled, black, bisexual, gender fluid furkin that speaks Spanish and Japanese as long as this person does his or her job right. I don't believe in women in politics. I don't believe in women voting. I don't believe in the suffragist movement. I don't believe in women in politics. 
If they're so righteous, let them stay at home and teach their children that righteousness. They have no place on the podium. They got no place in the political in the political sphere. I'm sorry. Then why aren't you talking to Shirley Phelps? You know, the new head of the WBC. She's a female. Why don't you lead the WBC? Because you seem to be very close to being like them. Convince her to step down and save the church from her femininity. Let them stay home and let them convey that righteousness to their children so that they can help develop a righteous generation. Uh, and here's Carly Fiorina, I, I, and I'll get into that in a different video, but, all, but I just want to say this one thing about, about whole, the whole women in politics nonsense. The way that God, the role that God gives women is, is a powerful position. What's so powerful that a woman have in the Bible? You treat them like cattle. All they are to you is the place where you stick your tiny penis and then pregnant a woman who feels like she's just a piece of shit and she should do her job because God might get angry. Look, if it makes some woman happy to be treated like nothing more than cattle, then fine. But that's pretty much what the Bible tells women. They tell themselves they are nothing more than mere slaves to men. And men are mere slaves to God. It's a powerful position. You want to influence people, influence your children, influence the next generation. If we had mothers who emulated the Virgin Mary and, and, instead of emulating Jezebels and Eves and listening to the devil and corrupting their husbands, if we had more women acting like the Virgin Mary and influencing their children with righteousness, we, would have, we wouldn't have all these losers at universities. Losers at universities? These people are learning lots of shit. They're doing good things with the exception of those who go to gender studies. These people might end up making a shit ton of cash or even become famous one day. You, sir, are only famous because you are hated by a shit ton of people and only loved by a very, very few. We wouldn't have these losers drinking out of beer ponds and smoking pot. What is wrong with smoking weed and drinking beer? Does it prevent you from stroking the ego of God? We wouldn't have these losers in university sitting there begging the government for free money so they can pay for their bullcrap studies learning about why lesbians are fat. Not every lesbian is fat. I should know because I know a few lesbians in the library I go to. Or, or why, uh, uh, I don't know, why McDonald's is bad or something like that. Why Christianity is bad, why evolution is true. Well, they can teach you that eating at McDonald's can be bad for your health because it can lead to obesity and it can lead to having a stroke or heart attack. There is some truth that, to that, you know. As for how Christianity is bad and how evolution is true, they're not going to bash a religion, but they will educate folks on evolution if that's part of the course. Why we should be allowed to kill babies. Why we should be allowed to cannibalize dead people. Dude, I haven't even been to college, and I know a shit ton more about college than you do. Cannibalizing humans? What? Why we should be allowed to take uh, uh, human skin cells and try to replicate human flesh so we can put it in restaurants and have steaks made out of human flesh. Holy fuck is this wrong! That's what they teach in universities. I'm sure you didn't know that. I would like to see some proof. Like I said, I haven't been in any universities or colleges, but I must say I'm a bit skeptical about that. We wouldn't have this crap if women simply taught righteousness to their children as opposed, and, as opposed to trying to compete with men all the time in the political sphere. So you are saying that because women are trying to be part of a presidential role, we now have universities teaching why lesbians are fat or how cannibalism is a new norm of things? I can see this within maybe the feminist hipster fields, but to blame women for that? You're more and more like Hitler! Say Hail! And trying to dominate their husbands. I'm sorry. It's just, I, I had to get that off my chest because this whole thing pisses me off. I'm sick and tired of hearing about how righteous this woman is, how righteous that woman is. I'm just tired of it. I'm sick of it. So here's Carly Fiorina bashing uh, Putin. She's like, I'm going to confront him and I'm going to put boats on the ocean. And she got those. She has that, that white trash look to her face. Anyway. Someone who is white trash is calling somebody else white trash. Oh my god, this is poetic irony. Play the clip. You have Carly Fiorina declaring war on Putin right there on the stage. And what do you think Putin's going to do? He's going to laugh. He's just going to laugh at you.
You're just an idiot. You don't know how to debate. You're ugly. You're a woman. You shouldn't be in politics. That's a man's job. This is a man's world. Well, I have yet to see you debate, Theodore, so if you want to debate anyone, you better start debating. Go on a drunken peasants. I'm sure you'll be able to stand your ground there. I am the 88 Gamer. Peace the game out.